Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more Mass Effect 2. I am very excited to continue because I am going to be doing the loyalty mission for Garrus, which is gonna lead to him stopping friends owning me, hopefully. <laughs> I really like him and he's just like, no. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna continue to pursue him as I have been since day one of Mass Effect 1. So yes, I hope you're excited and if you are, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and let's get to it. So um, I also, <laughs> I need to speak to Thane. <laughs> a lot of you guys reminded me that I've just left him in the dust and I don't know where he is. So <laughs> I'm going to go find Thane. Where the heck is Thane? here but where <laughs> i need to find your boy i haven't spoken to him yet life support here he is <laughs> thane hi i'm so sorry i haven't spoken to you hello talk to me do you need something i want to talk about you have a few minutes to talk certainly we haven't had a chance since i joined no we haven't i'm so sorry when we met you you said you were dying yes i thought you'd want to know more you don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keppel Syndrome. Keppel Syndrome? Can we help? Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank okay. you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Do you need something? Uh, let's talk again. A few minutes to talk. Later. I'd like to consider what we've already discussed. Okay. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. All right. Drell and Hanna. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. I like that. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, would find them warm. Soul name? What does that mean? I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Wow. They don't speak, do they? Hanar talk using bioluminescence. Ah. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. <laughs> True. Interesting, using Many your bioluminescence. Are genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. Ah, I had cool. the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. Interesting. So you're like, kind of colorblind version of a uh, drill? Your religion. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. Emonkira? When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. Cool. Yeah, polytheistic. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. Interesting. The old ways are dying. Oh. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Interesting. That's sad that that like, religion is kind of fading. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. <laughs> Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. Damn. Beautiful. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Uh, um... You mind if I ask you a few <laughs> questions? Not at all. Normandy upgrades. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Yeah. Yes, please. Let's see what they've got. Cool. Don't worry. I will get 
A ton. I will. Let me know if you want to pursue that. Okay. Goodbye, Thane. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. To my meditations? You're so cool, Thane. I like you. Okay. I have now finally spoken to Thane. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to wait that long to speak to him. I'm just a uh, poo-poo brain is all. Let me... This is how poo poo brain I am. I'm making sure I feed the fish. I'm probably over overfeeding them. I don't know. But as long as they don't die. Uh, examine my hamster. Cool. <laughs> I love that that's examining my hamster. Okay. It's time for eye for an eye, baby. Let's go. So. Yes, an eye for an eye. Go to the Citadel. Look for more information about Fade at the Citadel in the Widow System located in the Serpent Nebula. Let's go. Let's do... I will not do that yet. Ah, okay. I will do that then. Also, let me go speak to you, Joker. So, Hadley, how are you going to spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. Hell yeah! You're right, Matthews. Yeah, Matthews. You know what's up. Yeah, take your leave. Go for it. Alright, how's the, the dysfunctional married couple going? Hey, Commander. It's uh, pretty crazy the people you can run into out here, huh? <laughs> I mean, it was probably a setup or something, but it was still good to see Caden. Staff Commander Alenko, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, we're still, yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> Another reminder of how I lost more than time. This garbage. Right. Understood, oh, Commander. Sorry, I didn't mean to. How are things in the I cockpit? Assume everything's going well up here. It was until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. <laughs> you were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not Joker. falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. <laughs> so task times? Harmless, don't do that. That's it. You both shut up. <laughs> Um, I, yes. What is this, high school? <laughs> Both of you, find something better to do with <laughs> Of course, Shepard. It is a minor issue. With a nuclear response. Joker. Joker. <laughs> uh, can I ask you? Yeah? Is there anything else? Well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. <laughs> Fractured my thumb on the mute. <laughs> he does have delicate bones. All right. Bye, That's you two. Now. See you, Commander. <laughs> Joke is so good. Okay. Now I do have to speak to the elusive man. Which is back here and to the left. And here. Alright, what's up? Here we go. Shepard, we got a break. I intercepted a distress call from a Torian patrol. They stumbled onto a collector ship beyond the Corlys system. The Torians were wiped out, but not before they crippled the collector vessel. Mm -hmm. I need you to board that ship and get some hard data on the collectors. Find us a way to get to their home world. Cool. Turians disabled it, yeah, how? Hard to imagine how a Turian patrol could take out a collector's ship. Reports indicate the hull's intact, but all systems seem to be offline. They could be making repairs as we speak. I'm not saying it won't be dangerous, but we can't let an opportunity like this Of course, but how did they do such a good job? If they had a patrol out there, why aren't the Turians sending a recon team in? They will, eventually. But I intercepted the transmissions. In hmm. the meantime, we're feeding them false reports. You're close enough that you can that's be messed in and up. out before the Turians learn the truth. Ooh, that's messed up. I don't like that. You sure this information's good? Information is my weapon, Shepard. It's good. Okay, I'll check it out. Send me the coordinates and I'll take care of it. Already sent. Once you're aboard the ship, establish an uplink with Edie. She'll mine their data for information regarding the Omega-4 relay. Okay. Good luck, Shepard. Thank you, sir. Let's go find us a collector ship. Oh, we have to go now? Okay. Alright, let's do... Thane? Uh, let's do Thane and Grunt. Yes. Ok, 
okay, I have no choice. We've got to do this, but then we'll do Garrus's mission. Sniper and submachine gun. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's go. We have a visual on the collector ship, Commander. Very low emissions. Passive infrared temperatures suggest most systems are offline. Thrusters are cold. That thing is massive. How the hell did the Turians take it out? You. Radar scans do not detect any hull breaches on the side facing us. I detect no Mass Effect field distortions. It appears the drive core is offline. Oh. Rendezvous in 30 seconds, Commander. Good luck. All right. Thanks, Joker. This is sus. At least I've got Thane and Grunt with me. It's creepy. That's so cool. One's red, one's blue. Never seen a ship like this before. Looks like an insect hive. Thank you. Thanks, Edie. I'll plug you in when I can. Shepard, I've compared the ship's EM signature to known collector profiles. It is the vessel you encountered on Horizon. Oh, wow, the same Maybe one. The defense tower softened it for the Turians. Maybe the missing humans are on it. Ooh. Unless they're dead. That's a good point, Grunt. Oh, God. Pods. The collectors use these on Horizon. Small, like my tank. Bet they begged for mercy. This is creepy. Great, we've got dead bodies. These poor souls. Lots of dead meat. Test subjects discarded at the end of the experiment. Yeah. Bad way to go. They didn't deserve this. Too few in life ever get what they deserve. That's true, Thane. You are so poetic. I hate this, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, okay, cool. I thought that's where I put 80. Med kit, thanks. Okay. Just make sure. Alright, examine. What do we got? Interesting. See if you can figure out what they were up to. Data received. Analyzing. The collectors were running baseline genetic comparisons between their species and humanity. Oh, wow. Why? Are they looking for similarities? I have no hypothesis on their motivations. All I have are the preliminary results. They reveal something remarkable. Uh -oh. A quad strand genetic structure identical to traces collected from ancient ruins. Only one race is known to have this structure. The Protheans. Whoa. Okay, so the collectors are Protheans, but they were extinct. My god. The Protheans didn't vanish. They're just working for the Reapers Damn. now. Damn. These are no longer Prothean, Shepard. Their genes show distinct signs of extensive genetic rewrite. The Reapers have repurposed them to suit their needs. Wow, the Reapers repurposed the Protheans to become like the collectors. You'd think somebody would have picked up on this. No one has had an opportunity to study a collector genetic code Oh, 
horrible fates doesn't change anything. I, I don't know, this is all bad. <laughs> I don't know what it changes. Whatever they used to be, the collectors work for the Reapers now, and we still have to stop them. No species should have to experience this. Let's find what we need before the collectors come to salvage this vessel. Move out. Choose this one. I always need more of these kinds of guns. Okay, let's keep looking. You can now afford the advanced training research pro project. Okay, cool. On the ceiling, more containers. Hundreds. How many are full? Oh. Many. This is giving me Gears vibes. Ah, uh, that is probable. But yeah, definitely giving me Gears of War vibes. Weird that there aren't any collectors actively here. This might be useful. Cool. Because would they have all just abandoned ship? It's sus. It's I very sus. On a hunch, I asked the e to run an analysis on the ship. I compared the EM profile against data recorded by the original Normandy two years ago. They are an exact match. What? The same ship dogging me for two years? Way beyond coincidence. Something doesn't add up, Commander. Watch your back. They want me specifically, don't they? That's big. Yeah. They could take every human in the terminus systems and not have enough to fill these pods. They're going to target Earth. Not if we stop oh my them. God. Something's wrong. I agree, Grant. Edie, I'm setting up a bridge between you and the collector ship. Nervous. See if you can get anything useful from the databanks. Data mine in progress, Shepard. Something's up. What is it, Joker? Oh! They wanted this. Uh, that can't be good. Yes, it was. We need a little help here, Edie. I'm having trouble maintaining connection. There's someone else in the system. You okay, Grant? Oh, Thane picked him up. That's nice. Okay. Uh, so. But it's getting done fast. Yeah, we do. Incoming. All right, guys. Let's go. Incendiary warp. Oh no. Squad. Sheesh! Ugh, I keep 
getting up exclusively. Dang it, when he throws that, I need to stay down longer. Resume. Let's start with this. Better get it done fast, Edie. And start with this. Look up. We've got company. Here we go. Look ahead. Go to the Oh no. Okay, now him walk. Let's heal. Sheesh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, thing. Let's. Do that again. Okay, got those two down. The sounds are so creepy. And let's use this. Go. Whoop. Ooh, almost. Okay, he's down. get you to... you guys can't do anything yet. If I must, it's unity. Yeah. He wants to tear me apart, that's... Bad. You cannot resist. Actually, yeah, you know what? Grenade launcher, here we go. Oopsies, I went too high. To... Oh, yeah, let's actually snipe. Ooh. Okay. I'm staying down. Oh, boy. Okay, we got him. Okay, got them as well. How are we doing, boys? Shepard, you must manually re-establish my link to the command console. Okay. All right. Connect. Okay. I've regained control of the platform, Shepard. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Edie. I always work at optimal capacity. Did you get what we needed? I found data that would help us successfully navigate the Omega-4 relay. Okay, that's I've what we needed. I also found a Turian distress call that served as the lure for this trap. Uh -huh. The collector's with source. It is unusual. Okay, so... Seems logical to me that they would have sent the initial message as bait. 
No, it is unusual because Turian emergency channels have secondary encryption. It is corrupted in the message. It is not possible that the elusive man would believe the distress call was genuine. Ooh. Why are you so sure? I found the anomaly with Cerberus detection protocols. He wrote them. You knew it was a trap? Why would he send us into a trap? No. Oh. There's definitely a reason, but... We don't have time to throw blame around. We'll question him when we're yeah, out. Yeah, we'll question him when we're out, yeah. This is not known for keeping faith. Uh, Commander, we got another problem. The collector ship is powering up. Well, we got to go. I do not have full control of their systems. I will do what I can. Sending coordinates for shuttle extraction. Come on, let's move. Oh, boy. Let me get back to this. Enemies coming. No, we're good, we're good. Oh, here it is. Cool. Okay. Oh boy, here we go. Shoot. Okay, hive mines coming up. Um. This is you. Lost shield. Our power is unmatched. Oh, I know. Oh, no, stay down. Okay, we good. I cast a shot again. Yes, got him. Okay, okay, hold up. Is down. Okay. Oh, let's get behind here. Ooh, they explode. Sheesh! Not good. Get down. Hey, there we go. Okay, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> That's a bit awkward. But we made it. I'm opening a door on the far side of the room. Thank you, Edie. Okay. Okay. Hey. There 
we go. Okay, and there's more collectors down there. Do warp on you. Damn. Oh, oh. <laughs> Damn. Let's use you. We're getting them. Move. Okay. Where's the big thing gone? There. Almost got him. Yes. Okay, good job, boys. All right, let's continue. Oh my. Edie, we got a problem here. A temporary setback on firewall three two one seven. Rerouting commands to firewall seven one six four. I have successfully opened a door on the opposite wall. Opposite wall up oh, right, yeah, here. Here we go. Hey, down there. That where we came in. We must be getting close to the edge. We can use this. Okay. Heck yeah. Alright. Spooky sounds. Oh, move. Okay. Let's do concussive. Ah, cool. We can hide here. Shield. On the ground now. Stay down. This hurts you. Cool, he's down. Okay, he's down. All right, let's go. What was that? You. Oh boy. Whoop. Direct intervention is necessary. This is true power. Wait, what? Oh, this. right down. Your form is fragile. It is. There we go.
dang. Good job, guys. Here we go. Okay, let's walk. And let's maybe do a flashbang. I can. Okay. Okay, now I need different gun. Okay, done. Let's go. Okay. Again. Hold up. No wonder my boys didn't <laughs> follow as closely as... How? Okay. Let's shotgun it for these guys. Oh my god, what am I stuck on? I get stuck on, like, the walls. And stuff. Ah. Okay. <sighs> oh gosh, okay. I'm out of all my ammo, are you kidding me? Hey, hi. Ugh. Okay. We got to go. We're out of time, Commander. We have to go. We're here. Let's go, let's go. This is not good. Strap in, people. I'm gonna make it work for it this time. Alright, Joker, get us out of here. Specify destination. Go, 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 go. Damn. Sheesh, man. Call coming in from the elusive man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Yeah, I do. I do. Ayo, hey, what the heck? Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Yeah. I knew I couldn't trust you. What the hell is going on? Cut the act. You set us up and you better have a damn good reason for yeah, it. Yeah, you better. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. And the people I bring with me. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the Collector homeworld. And you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap. But I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. 
You could have told me the plan. Yeah. You say I'm important, but you should try hard to get me killed. <laughs> but also, yeah, if you give me the info, the I'll still do it. Telling you could have tipped them off in any number of ways. Besides, I wouldn't have sent you in if I didn't think you could succeed. I'd have found another way. What did we learn? Never again, you hear me? You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless Facts. to me. Facts! It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful. With the collectors and with you. Amen. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get this a lot. This is not a petty grudge. Edie confirmed our suspicions. Yeah, they're similar to us, the but the and collector ships use an advanced to identify frame flow system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it, but we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. Okay. <laughs> a very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target. A 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. Uh -huh. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. Hmm. Aren't brown dwarfs basically stars that didn't quite make it? Simply put, but accurate. They're gas giants that don't quite have the masses of stars. Expect gale force winds and extremely high temperatures. Bit. The Reaper has a mass effect field that keeps it in orbit, likely an automated response to the external threats. It's stable, but I won't call it safe. I get the feeling this isn't going to be a simple swing by and pick up our package. But also, I'm not doing this mission yet. Dr. You guys want me. Team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. Hmm. Creepy. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. <laughs> Lied to us. Used us. Needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. I still don't like it. He tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the collector homeworld based on navigational data from their vessel. Okay, hopefully it doesn't force me to do this mission. I don't think it will. It should be an option. In the middle of the Milky Way? That can't be right. Better run the diagnostics, Joker. Looks like our AI's got a bug in the software. <sighs> My calculations are correct. The Collector homeworld is located within the galactic core. Damn. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction. Space stations True. protected by powerful mass effect fields and yeah, radiation could be artificial. Shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. Huh. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy. We've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays and the citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip to the mm. Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common and would be fatal in the galactic core. Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. We need to build our Just team. Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. Yes. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Amen. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? I say, I didn't ask you. 
What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind I of I agree, place. Miranda. Stick with building a team. We've got to build a team. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. It is my Whatever call. Whatever you decide, we're with you. And that's my decision. I'm gonna do all the loyalty missions first. Cool. Alright. Now! Oh, dang. What's my, uh... Whoopsies. Okay, no, no. I'm still way more Paragon than I am. Renegade. Alright here. Now, let's go do... Garrus's mission. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Cool. Unread messages. You're too small. <laughs> From Morlin. I am s sorry, my mate. I leave you for a Krogan because you are not endowed as good for your species. Do you fear those words? Morlin's famous shop sells many enhancements online that are not restricted by Citadel trading re regulations. Whether you require hormone augmentation, cybernetic enhancement, or gene, gene biotic xenografting, Morlin has the things <laughs> you may you will be pleased with. All species and gender order online from Morlin's famous extranet site. Hot linked from this message. Product availability varies by local trade regulations. All element zero products require shipping surcharge. No shipping to Omega. Krogan re reproductive organs not available. Other restrictions may apply. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Therapy from Olar Han. Shepard, they say you're alive, that you cheated death, that sending you this isn't just a pointless exercise as part of my therapy. They say a lot of things. I'm still alive, she isn't. She still isn't. I hear you killed Benezia. Nicely done. Another woman I helped kill. If my information did any good, they want me to thank you. The Rachni would have killed us all have you, had you not shown up. It would have been right. Why me and not her? Why did you show up and then and not before? They think that they can fix me. But maybe you're not really back. Maybe I died. Maybe I didn't close that door in time. Maybe I held it open to give her a chance and the Rachni ripped my suit open and I died of exposure there on peak 15. Maybe I'm a martyr and this is an ugly hallucination before a glorious afterlife. But if I'm not, then thank you. Han Olar. Damn. Detective Anaya. Greetings, Commander. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse mercs have gotten real quiet around here, and my superiors have backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet Adrastakar, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Thanks, Detective Anaya. Cool. Project Firewalker. Commander, a very capable team is analyzing the data you gathered from the Geth's research in, into atmospheric change. We hope it may open up new avenues for terraforming procedures for future colonies. The tech used in the beacons also contain communication innovations that should help us develop better systems to reduce atmospheric noise. There is no evidence of Prothean activity on this planet. Cool. Okay, so now. Yaris, eye for an eye. Citadel. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go to the mass relay. Boop. And we want to go to the Citadel. Here we go. Serpent Nebula. Let's go. And get Gash to be my boyfriend. <laughs> Citadel. Um. Cool. Let's go. Let's bring Okay. 
let's bring obviously Garrus and maybe Morden. Cool. Here we go. Let's do combat mastery. Yes. Okay, and then Morden. Oh, we've got seven points for you. Heck yeah. Let's do this one. And this one. And let's do this for you. Alright, let's go. Um, Morden, what guns do you have? Submachine gun and handgun. Yeah, that's good. Lovely. Fade! That's what we're here for. CSEC crime reports. Let's go. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Okay. So it's a cafe. How do we get to Hmm. Map. We want to get to CSEC. Here we go, CSEC. Okay, let me go speak to Captain Bailey, I guess. He was back here. CSEC. Hello? Yes? I'm looking for Fade. I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Mm. Where can we find him? Yeah, tell us. If I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. Do. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Okay. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. <laughs> Gently. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Yeah, probably. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. There you go. But you're outside, CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I plan to. Well, Garris plans to. Bye. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Okay, so he said the market. I'm going the right way. <laughs> Question mark. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. Okay. map. <laughs> so I need to go to... Where's the market? Oh, warehouse. Warehouse. That's where I gotta go to. So, all the way this way? Let's see if I can fast travel there. <laughs> do, do, do. No, you're not there. Here. Ah! There we go. I want to go to warehouse. Okay, shipping warehouse. You didn't take his credit shit. No, I was walking by and he just turned on and started screaming. Okay, I think. Here we go. Hi. Hello. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. Does he not recognize Garrus? So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, 
that's not the service. Okay, so he's not fade. Make an exception. Just this once. Just this once. Damn it. Quick, shoot them. Shoot them, you lumbering mountains. Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? <laughs> Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, let's talk. We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not paid. I just work for him. Okay, we'll point us in the direction of him. I knew it. Yeah, he's not fate. I mean, Garrus would have known. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. <laughs> yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. Prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Blue Suns? What do the Blue Suns have to do with this? Do they use his services to help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel? Hmm. Bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. Well, not really. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the system. Of course he does. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Let's get going. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... <laughs> I can go? Shoo. Sure, but if we don't find him, <laughs> we'll be back for you. I love you, Garrus. Oh, He's like, sure. Cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. Hail a cab. All right. Cool. Anything in here I can loot? Wow, really? Nothing I can loot, huh? It's rude. All right, let's hail a cab. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a decision on the job. Are you sure you're being straight with so me? Is this what we want to do? Want to Here we go, factory district. What? I think. Why are you accusing me? I didn't... Of course, Garrus. <laughs> and yeah, Morden again. Let's go. Garrus, we got this. Good day, fellows. How you doing? There he is. Shepherd? <laughs> Don't just stand there. Stop them! Stop them! Good luck. Run Where while you, you can. Run, we'll find you. Agreed, Garrus. Ain't no fang. Oh, Morden's already going at it. <laughs> well, that was easy. And pathetic. Let's go. Alright, Hawkin, come out, come out wherever you are. Maybe I should use um, this one. Where is the, the big mech? Oh, hello. And okay, now I should use um, incendiary. God dang it. Hell yeah. Got him.
There we go. Let's get you to cry blossom. There you go. All right. Let's keep it pushing. Wall safe. Bypass. Let's go. Oop. There we go. What do you got? Just a few credits. That's okay. <laughs> Arkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. <laughs> oh, sniff him out. All right, let's do another one. Ooh. There we go. Only 900 credits. Tis a damn shame. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, we got some more mechs dropping in. Alright. Okay, let's change over. Gotcha. Okay, now let's change back to <laughs> incendiary. Oh, not. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> Cover me, boys. <laughs> Let's go. Nine hundred credits. Ooh. <laughs> we good, we good. Stay back. Alright, let's get to incinerate. That's a good one. Yay. And overload. Okay, right. now I got more mechs. Enjoy. <laughs> Good one, Warden. Grab that ammo, lovely. Let's go. Hi! <laughs> Goodbye. That was easy. Medkit open. Refined iridium. Hell yeah. And how do I open? There we go. I got you, Garrus. My boyfriend. <laughs> He's like, ah, no, not yet. Nice Damn, he, uh, turned into nothing. That was really cool. Yep. Oh, heavy, okay. I got you while he's still loading. Alright, let's get you to. I want you to overload, okay. Overload. And Morden, you... Okay, you can cast a shot, I guess. Let's... Flashbang you guys. Oh, never mind. I guess not. Got him! Okay. Oh, stay down. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now back to incendiary. And reload. Yeah! Nice. 
Right. Lovely, lovely. Medkit. Thank you. Let's continue on. My past there. I swear if it's just for 900, <laughs> I'll be so mad. One thousand two hundred. That's bad. I was harking up to. Great question. So Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, <laughs> but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. I give you full permission. Oh, you okay? You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. That's fair. I don't blame you. Just checking in. Because I love you. We got mixed. Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? We'll make He's him cooperate. Criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, Fair. so I won't do any permanent damage. <laughs> Just enough to loosen his tongue. That's fair. Sounds good. Whatever it takes. Exactly. I knew you'd understand. I got you, boo-boo. Sedonis. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. You know, Go for quick it. and painless. Unlike everyone he betrayed, he'll be spared the agony of a slow death. That's it's more than he that's deserves, big of you. But as long as he's dead. Hell yeah. I'll good for you, man. Good. I got no problem with that. Somehow I didn't think you would. I totally I totally agree, and especially by not torturing him, making it quick and pain painless. What do you Awful. think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy, Heavy machinery. machinery. Could be anything. Mm. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Well, you know what? Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. Did you hear that? He must have something in store for us. Let's go get him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. Me and my boyfriend's gonna take them on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just <laughs> I'm obsessed with Garrus. It's not even funny. Okay. Beautiful. not turn around okay wait I'm gonna put on the disruptor actually I might change to this A freaking wheel. And in fact, oh, I must still be on. Yeah, I am. Oh boy. Oh, that's so cool! They tipped over to the side. That's bloody cool. You gotta admit. Okay, stop. You are so annoying. Let's get 
you to do a concussive shot on him. And let's get you to do that. Hell yeah. Just need to focus on him. Careful, Morden. Ah, oh, he's dead. Okay. Let's go. I don't know where I want to go, but... I guess maybe this way? Alright, then show yourself. Yeah, he is. Okay, uh, I can't do disruptor ammo. That's okay. Let's do overload. Oh, dang it. I missed. Let's also do this. Last one. Okay, now. Down. Almost down. Down. Alright. What now, Harkin? Hmm? What now? Let's get you to... Not difficult. <laughs> did, did Morden say not difficult? Mood. <laughs> You're not difficult. I don't know, it just sounds like something a little kid would say. Garrus. Do your thing, baby. Hi. You are close, but not close enough. Yeah, Garrus. So, fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. What do you want from us? <gasps> Just to survive? <sighs> Wrong answer. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a you deal for a deal. <laughs> you helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. Yeah. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. Oh, you know what else is bad for business? <gasps> you know You're not surviving. Hey! <laughs> I love Garrus. See, we're the God, same. Get off me! <laughs> oh, I touched him on the back. I was like, hey. Really changed okay. you, huh, Garrus? No, but Sedonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. Don't try anything funny. We're right here. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. 
So, if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah. I hope we can do this again real soon. I hate Hawkin, but... <clears throat> yeah! See? That you can do. I didn't shoot him. <laughs> on, so I didn't shoot him. Or I'm coming back to finish the job. Agreed. Alright. Yeah, headbutt. I Harkin's a bloody menace. I agree. He deserved that headbutt. Just let him go. He deserved to be punished. He's not worth it. Don't waste your time on him. Let's see sec deal with him now. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks for helping me with this, Shepard. Well, you bet. I'd do the same if I were you. I learned from the best. I need to set up. Whatever you need. I can get a clear shot from over there. How will this? How will this work? Like, how do you what want? What do you need me to do? Yeah. What do you Keep need? Keep him to talking do? and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Perfect. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Beautiful. I got you, Garrus. I love you. <laughs> Just sniper out. Hell yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Beautiful. Right in the All temple. Right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Sounds good. Let's get this over with. Yeah, let's. You're in my shot. Move to the side. This won't take long at all. You want a Harkins man? I don't remember seeing you before. That's it. Just keep him talking a few more seconds. Perfect. I was told Harkin was one of the best. This better not happen again. Oh, it won't. Don't worry. What? Shit. What? There we go. Oops. Betrayal repaid, Sidonis. What happened? That was easy enough. Yes, it was. Clean and simple. Good work. Thanks for helping me, Shepard. Let's yeah. get moving. I need to get away from this place. No worries. Let's go. Right with you. Lovely. Let's go to uh, I'm sorry, the Normandy so I can wait no, this way. Let's this go to the Normandy so I can uh, talk to him. I want to hear what he has to say. Oh, Samara? Okay, I'll speak with Samara as well, but let me first speak to Garrus. I can't believe the Collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant... <laughs> not giant bugs. <laughs> creepy, it is creepy. Garrus, hey! Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. My pleasure. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. I'm glad you're here. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. 
Not a stylish man. <laughs> strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high risk operations the way Turians do. Um, I thought you'd be used to high risk operations on human ships. <laughs> I mean, think about tracking Saren to We went through a lot together. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the <laughs> galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind. Oh, really? Some... Interesting. How did Turian crews get ready for high risk missions? Yeah, what, what did you guys With do? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Hmm. Whatever lets people work off stress. That's fair. Um, full contact sparring. I mean, Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Okay, Nobody's good. going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. Huh, nice. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Huh. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. And how did it go? I assume you took her down gently. Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. Okay. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy <laughs> betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Ooh, we could use stress together. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. Uh, not what I meant. It wouldn't bother me. Yeah, yeah, not what I meant. I don't mean actual sparring. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? We could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Where's that a weakness for you? Well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you. If we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Yeah, definitely. You with my boyfriend? Okay. <laughs> Shepard, need me for something? I don't know, is there anything else we can say? Have you got a minute? I've got some diagnostics okay, cool. to finish. But don't worry, I haven't forgotten what we talked about. Good. See you. Talk to you later, Garrus. <laughs> I'll be here if you need me. Okay, now we're going to the romantic zone. Hell yeah. I'm out of the friend zone. Let's go speak to Samara though. She wants to speak to me. And she is on this level as well. Here she is. Hey. I am glad you came. I must ask for your help. That is not easy for me. What do you need? When we met on Ilium, I told you about a very dangerous person I was pursuing. Using the information you obtained, I have located her. She's been going by the name Morinth. Morinth. I would like to apprehend her before she disappears again. Okay. Where is she? Omega. A nightclub called oh. Afterlife which seems a perfect place for her to hunt. Interesting. Didn't you say you'd pick up her trail after our mission? I know where she is right now. In a month, she may be gone. That's fair. This is the best opportunity I've ever had. How important is this? Killing her has been my focus for 400 years. It is the most important thing in my life and the reason I became a Justicar. Who is she? Tell me about her. She is an Ardot Yakshi. It is a term from a dead Asari dialect. It means demon of the night winds. Okay. But that is mythology. She is simply a very dangerous woman who kills without mercy. So is an Ardot Yakshi a special kind of murderer? Morin suffers a rare genetic disorder. When she mates with you, 
There is no gentle melding of nervous systems. Okay. She overpowers yours, burns it out, hemorrhages your brain. Damn. You end up a mindless shell, and soon after, you are dead. Damn. Why isn't this ever mentioned in Asara literature or art? When we were primitive, there was much fascination with Ardat Yakshi. Some cultures worship them as gods of destruction. Oh, okay. Now the Asari have a place in the galaxy, and they don't wish this defect to be widely known. Oh, interesting. As far as I know, only three exist today. Two chose a life of seclusion. The third ran. Interesting. Morinth. She ran, and I am sworn to kill her. Um. Can't she abstain? Each encounter gives her strength. The effect is narcotic. The more she does it, the more she needs to do it. She will never stop. She can't. Okay. So you hunt down these Asari just because they're born with a genetic condition? It manifests with maturity. When one is diagnosed, she is offered the chance to live in seclusion and comfort. Oh, interesting. If she refuses, it shows her addiction um, to the ecstasy she gets from killing her okay. mates. So it's too there far gone. There is no gone. redemption for such a person. That's so sad. Okay. Isn't she only deadly to the people she mates with? Each time she kills, she becomes stronger, smarter, and faster. Oh, damn. And she's four. been doing this for 400 years. Okay, damn. She confuses her victims, twists their feelings. They will do anything for her favor. Okay. Let's go get her. We need to stop her. Thank you, Commander. There are no words to express what this means to me. I got you. There is one thing more. This creature, this monster, she is my daughter. Oh, my God. You said this is genetic. How many children do you have? Three. And three Ardat Yakshi are in existence today. It is as it sounds. Wow. Morinth was always the wild one. She was happy and free, but selfish. I'm so sorry. I cannot imagine what this is like for you. I do not want pity, Shepard. I do not accept it. Okay. My daughter's condition is my fault, mm. and my redemption lies in killing her. I'm so sorry. That's tough. Do not pity me. Simply understand my situation. How did all this happen? I spent my youth on the move, adventuring. I killed people, mated with them, or just danced the night away. I learned so much, experienced so much, and then my matron days came. Mm -hmm. I could finally sit back, bask, and enjoy my family. But in one moment, it was all taken away. Sounds terrible. I'm so sorry. I sat in a med lab while a nearsighted doctor droned at me, and I learned that nothing was as I thought it would be. I gave up all that I possessed. I owe nothing, claim nothing. All my knowledge will die with me. Damn. Now my purpose is to destroy my own children. I understand. Those moments change you. And I've hundreds of years left to live with that. Mm. I say too much. Forgive me. No, I help me good. find my long lost daughter. And kill her. We'll get her. We'll go find Morinth. I'm so sorry that it's your daughters. That's that's rough. Okay. Alrighty, everyone. I'm gonna leave this episode here, and uh, we will continue doing some more loyalty missions in the next one. So please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.